Hey guys, welcome back to Buster's Corner. Let's see, mic check is working. Yep, everything's working. Okay, let's go. So, um, you remember Tom, Brother Tom, uh, did the MoTeC workbook uh, 8.0, and actually there's an upgraded version 8.1 that's available on his GitHub. Uh, Tom has unplugged his iRacing game, and he's off doing other stuff. So, um, I... Uh, Got a hold of Ricky Thompson to help me out with this a little bit over at uh, Stint Analyzer. Great guy, uh, great product he's got. Uh, so that's what's going on here. I'm going to show you how to update Tom's workbook to accommodate for that uh, left rear block change that iRacing gave us. Because um, it's been driving me crazy. So, and this won't take but a couple of minutes to show you how to resolve this. Okay, let me get rid of that. So we're going to bring up my MoTeC. Okay. And I got some files in here. Work on New Hampshire. Okay. Uh, this is showing my left rear at 0.92 in this screen. And it matches my screen down here for the right height at 0.92. But this is not a true number. Um, so we're going to show you how to resolve that in Tom's workbook. Now, Tom did something really, really cool. It really helped us out here. And I don't know if it's available to everybody else. All I know is this is how Tom's workbook uh, works. Uh, thanks to Ricky kind of showing me. I think Ricky's using the same one. And he pointed out what I, the direction I need to go. Okay, so we're going to go up here to Tools. And down here it says Maths. Math, math, okay. Open that up. Now, something really cool that Tom did is this section right here, RF, right height, LF, these right heights. Look over here, just a remap of letters for readability. Because it, it was driving Tom crazy when he was building this. I remember telling him it was driving him crazy because they use FL instead of LF. Instead of left front, they call it front left. And doing his stuff, it, it got things kind of confusing and mixed around, not using those terms all the time. So so Tom, this is a great thing that Tom did for us right here, and I'm going to show you why, and he didn't know it at the time. If we click on this line right here, left rear right height, and we're going to go over here, we're going to edit. Okay. Put your cursor right next to, the, to this right here. I'm going to go space. I'm going to go minus. 0.5. Apply. Click OK. Close that. And look what it did. Left rear, right height, 0.42. But this is here still. I'm going to show you how to fix this here in a second. Um, just check here. Left rear, 0.42. All right. Let's go back to overview. So that's good. So uh, I got that. <clears throat> that's what Ricky uh, showed me. You know, <clears throat> there's a line had Ricky had me put in there, but we didn't need it come to find out because of the way Tom did the layout. But now let's fix this one. This one here, I'm going to highlight. I'm going to right click on it. Properties. Okay. Um, this is rear left. Okay. And Tom has it as left rear. <clears throat> we're going to go over here and we're going to click this little, is it this one, properties? No. It's this one. Okay. So we are looking for on here uh, left rear instead of rear. See, this is it's rear left. Okay. Which is the channel that, I don't know. I hear I, yeah. But we were, we we're looking for left rear. It's going to be way up here. It's alphabetical. Uh, left rear. F, 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 left. F. It's alphabetical, Bob. Left rear, right height. There it is. Left, left rear, right height. We're going to click that and click OK. And click OK. My 42 here. Matches my 42 here. There you go. 
All right. Now, I don't think you have to change anything here at all, but uh, actually, I know you don't. I say you should probably save it. There, I clicked the thing. I saved it. All right. So let's just double check here. Open it back up. Open up my file. 42, 42. There you go. That's how you fix Tom's workbook. Like I said, Tom does a big fat favor by doing that right there. At least the way I figured it out. Now, on other people's Motex, I don't know. So please don't shoot me questions. How do I fix mine or can you fix mine? Because I can't. I don't know nothing about Motec. Um, I didn't even open it up until I, I reached out to Ricky Thompson. And Ricky said, uh, do this, this, and this. And actually, I had put that in. Let me see something here. I put it in our Discord. And this is, uh, Ricky had us um, adding a calculation in here. LR right height um, is minus 0.5. But come find out we didn't have to do that. Um, it was easier because of what Tom did in his in his setup. So this can actually go away. Oops. I'll do that later. Okay. Okay. I think that's all I've got here. Um, so I guess while I'm in here, real quick, the diffuser. Uh, Come to find out, and I guess a lot of people knew this, but when Tom did the diffuser stuff right here, this was all first starting, and we didn't know for sure whether this was going to be an attribute that we can track and trace and make useful to us. Um, so I guess come to find out, it is not as useful as we thought. Um, you can delete that if you want to. I'm going to leave it there. It doesn't hurt nothing. Um, somebody on the Discord, I'm going to take a picture of this, was asking um, about the garage. And I can do that later. I'll come back to that. That's all I got, guys. Um, let's see, just real quick. Uh, this is a, a, another plug for Stanton Analyzer. If you're not using it, use it. This thing is, is brutally awesome. Um, and I really want to thank Ricky for helping us out here. Uh, let me see. I'll show you something here real quick. That's his Stanton Analyzer. This is one I was running this morning. It really breaks it down for you. It gives you, lets you know what's, what's going on. I have mine set up for only my stents. Let me see. Okay, so if I want to, there's everybody else's stents. Uh, Andrew's running in there, and look how fast he was. Ooh, brutally fast. He actually got to 30 laps, 31.4 and 30 laps. Yeah, a lot faster than me, huh? He was the fastest one in the session. That's stent analyzer. You gotta have it, guys. You gotta have it, and and feel free to donate. It's definitely worth the five bucks uh, or ten buck donation. Um, okay, close that. Close that. I think that's it, guys. We're done. That's the update. Uh, have a great day. Happy race day.